What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks. I know Ross Burlington has been a little bit drier lately, but there's a ton of inventory right now. I'm gonna give you three tips as we browse this Burlington. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Tip number one, know your teams, know who's winning, know the trends. Right now that we're in the fall, we're in October prime baseball, getting into the World Series, then NBA is starting up. Up. NFL is what six seven weeks in so you can see which teams are winning which teams you should be buying any type of gear that shows up so Dolphins Lions 49ers Eagles all of that stuff is moving right now especially Lions like Lions stuff is hard to keep in stock now Raiders, Steelers, Packers, we can see Browns, we have some beanies in here. Knowing the brands, knowing the teams, Raider Nation, they'll always support. Same thing with Steelers, uh, but Steelers have been moving a little bit slower right now. Packers just have been a little mix since the whole Aaron Rodgers thing. Jordan Love now and kind of winning kind of not so that's what we see here on the new era but the bad thing is I think they're just overpriced at some of the uh, $17 now $7.99 big difference $12.99 you're like mm, $10.99 but now we're up to uh, $17 on the new era and uh, we're not gonna take anything like that and then getting into the brands I mean for the most part $30 on a NBA brand, $10 here. You're like, all right, cool, 10 bucks. But if it's not new era, and uh, even some of the 47 stuff doesn't really move. A lot of people get discouraged. And even you see them on Mercari, you see them on eBay, they just don't move. See, Bulls would be great. Lakers, there's just kind of like a flood everywhere. And we're not even in LA. We're in Texas. LA stores, I don't have a ton of Lakers stuff right now. $8. Patriots suck though. So we know that's not really going to move. And they're not a great brand. No new era, just NFL branded stuff. Bears, that's another team you do not want to mess with right now. And uh, Browns, they are improving. So maybe something to look out for. But still, it's not a uh, new era beanie. So you're probably asking, what would I pick up? And what, did someone return this? Returned a uh, dirty fitted up here. Um, so I did pick up they don't have them here because I did pick them up But they were like the blooming uh, Fitted I'll show a picture of it right here. And that had a great deal on them I did pick those up and they were all chiefs so winning teams new era plus great sizes on fitteds That's a winning combo all right, my second tip is going to be do not sleep on the new seasonal stuff that they're bringing out Here's men's section. A lot of this is for gifts, things like that. Uh, but they do have some. Look at this fall convention, limited edition. At least some Funko Pops that are exclusive. Of course, we have to look them up. Batwoman. They got some other ones here. But I remember like the Ninja Turtles one. That one sold pretty well too. The Leonardo. That was an exclusive. They have some other stuff here. I haven't really gotten through all of it yet but different stores are getting different items and not only that but they slowly bring them out so like one day to the next you'll see like you know for example this table and then the second uh, day you come there's a new table with different stuff so you have to do the research and go through it here looks like just different boxers and stuff which is kind of random i thought they were gonna have real bagel bites here boxers all in this area but the seasonal into like collectibles and stuff kind of curious what they're gonna bring out and uh replenishing these things what they're gonna add in moving forward dr sleep annabelle these are pretty cool i remember seeing these i think at the mall they were kind of like overpriced those seven bucks here there's another joker king um a lot of socks things like that but we'll stay patient we'll see what they bring out and this is it tip number three burlington they're holding up to their name coat factory at least what they used to be and they are loading up big time jackets hoodies crews a bunch of stuff and here's the thing you cannot get overwhelmed and you're gonna have to spend the time and go through everything because not every piece is also in the same 
I guess section that it's supposed to be or the section that you saw the last couple of months because they're getting so many items that uh, they're throwing activewear into the coats, sportswear into the activewear, and so on. Let me show you some examples going through it. And you can't rush to go to the next store. I know you want to go to the next store, but when you have a loaded store, you have to go through it piece by piece. Here's an example. So sportswear, this is supposed to be an active wear, but they have these Cowboys salute to service on the hoodies, Nike, $30 in a 2XL, 100 retail, wrong section, but we wouldn't have known that if we're just skipping the sportswear because we think it's just going to be loaded up with Arrow and Calvin Klein and things like that we can't just assume here's another one this is in clearance big and tall jordan jacket look at this return retag fifty dollars apparently this is a men's extra small which we wouldn't have known that either uh but that one in here on a 4x this happens a lot too it's like medium large and it's not even that item i think during the q4 time you have to go in with like a thrifter's mindset because don't assume everything's gonna be in the right section. Now here's another one. This is in active, oh, young men's fleece jacket. And this Nike jacket, which we've seen many times in red and navy, 160 is the retail and $35. That is also a mistag, that is not right. Um, it says Brown's active tops. That's another thing that's gonna happen is a lot of errors on the prices and don't assume also that they're going to be in your favor some stuff might be um overpriced or like something that you would see that's usually 49 will be 69 now you got to go find another one um to see if they could match that price or they're going to see what the right price is that might not even happen let's go through activewear a little bit Patrick Mahomes on the color rush. I don't know if these are back or maybe they just never sold. $40. Uh, retail on these, $80. Very thin and not even screen printed. There's just like heat pressed jerseys. They got two of them here. We showed these last time. People are also finding LeBron jerseys out there on the Swingman. Devin Booker Suns, $120 is the retail and forty dollars nfl brand eagles on the t-shirts and they had like uh here it is raiders look at a baseball jersey and that one at 20. josh allen now this one is actually kids it's here in the men's section forty dollars and also jalen hurts this burlington quite a bit of jalen hurts kids jerseys as well but they are pricey at 40 and they're non-sewn the olive green on the jacket this one in a 2x 50 bucks nike on the recycled 30 dollars nice little zip up 120 is the retail on it nike white and black on the thermofit in an xl 65 retail burlington price 30. that one's pretty dope lsu tigers on the coach's jacket 85 retail uh so this is a 2x and burlington there we go that's a price we know and love 17. pretty cool hoodie lebron nike hoodie strive for greatness this one in a blue orange combo 25 dollars men's xl retail 100. i'm pretty sure your burlington is loaded with these they're just not moving 50 dollars men's size large our other Burlington store has at least 10 of these. This one as well has been sitting Nike on the Sherpa, burnt orange, brownish color with red, 35 men's size small. Here's another misprice. Puma, black, active pants, $17. And they are the tie-dye Jordan basketball shorts and 2X tall, 70 retail. Now, men's shoes, Trey Young, everywhere. I mean, so many different colors. Look, they're gonna sell for Q4 time. Reselling, not that great. $35, here's that one. I mean, they seem like a really good basketball shoe, uh, but every Burlington is just loaded up with these. 
I would also say the same thing with the Donovan Mitchell. So let me see in the back over here, Trey Young. Here's a Giannis, huge size, 35 on these. And here's all the Donovan Mitchells here, 35 pink one, green, yellow. And even with these on the Air Max Flyknit Racer thing, down to 50. Uh, they have the orange one as well also went down to 53 and these Nike ACG on the boots Gore-Tex blue black red man $100 they're really nice though uh, but these might go down on clearance give it some time uh, they're not moving here also because well, there's no need for them uh, some of the Adidas cleats are also great too especially at the price that we know and love $20 afterburner on the baseball in a size nine and a half. All right, so we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video, the three Burlington tips right now. We can't complain or say that it's slow if we're not actively going through the racks and checking every item. I know you're not gonna catch everything. There's gonna be some hidden gems in there, uh, but we can't also just look for home run hits, assuming J Balvin jackets are just gonna randomly show up. That was like extremely rare one up. I don't even think we're ever gonna find that ever again, uh, but who knows? But keep going through your stores and let's see what you find out there. Tag me in all your finds at Hustler Hacks on Instagram. Don't forget to listen to the Seller Club podcast. I have that link in the description. Any feedback, any listens, I'm all for it and I appreciate everybody either watching the video, listening to the podcast, or tagging me on any finds. Thank you and I will see you on the next one. Go out and get it.